Tipsy. And on today's episode of Tipsy Talk TV, we are talking about the Real Housewives of Orange County. This episode brought to you by water. Here's to a sober graduation. Don't drink and drive, kids. Might spill your beer. Stay in school. Cheers. Cheers. I love the dark Oh my god, Lydia, in the first te- 10 seconds of this episode, you're already kissing Tamara's ass again. I just stop kissing everybody's ass. Do I do that? No. Yeah. No. I think I do that. Well, I, I just... Oh, she's so fake. You're so fake. You're so fake. <laughs> what the hell? We're going to have a custom bathing suit made for Tamara for oh. a bachelorette party to surprise her with. Are they going to make her a bikini that says bride on the ass or something? <laughs> it's so woman. cute that Heather is so conservative that she wants to take her to a really classy, you know, quiet <laughs> restaurant. And Gretchen's like, I really want to go out and live it up and party. So mm-hmm. why don't you get some advice from Vicky, maybe? Yeah. Oh, that Where the happen. fuck's Vicky at? What's that? What the hell's a pink greyhound? I don't know. We'll have to Google that. Never oh. heard of it. Next episode, look for pink greyhounds. Is really? Vicky invited? She's so old. No one wants. The- why did you just? Go- oh, well, we're going to Mexico in a few days. But you just blurred that out. Do you do that? Do you go oh, is Alexis right? not invited? Yeah, and oh. Alexis is not invited. Then you. So like, who, would, who would you rather who have? Does it? that? It's not nice. I don't think Vicky cares about nice. The conclusion that Vicky is actually the only one. Who doesn't have a stylist doing her hair or her clothes, obviously. Then I got like really that. drunk and told you to get the fuck out. Yeah. It was really nice when you first got there. And then after a little bit, I got really drunk and told you all. And things got bad when I became When I got blackout drunk. <laughs> I still don't know what they were angry about, though. I, no. Nobody knows. That's what I don't she even, did nothing. I, when they first approached her last season, it was because she was, like, being fake. Oh, your fake ring, your fake... Mm-hmm. Boobs, your fake hair. But that's something to get mad you about. Talk about like how much your house is and how much you sold your house for. Who the hell gets mad about that stuff? Mm-hmm. Nobody. That- oh, we here in the OC, we don't talk about all our wealth. So just say that. Calm it down with the pricing thing. You know what I mean? We're not on the prices right, okay, Alexis? <laughs> I'm, ready to have a, I'm ready to have a baby with a guy that had a vasectomy 12 years ago. That and makes doesn't pay sense. any child support. And can't support. afford the kid that he has now. Uh, Perfect father material. He really right? needs to move to the 209 and go on welfare. So Vicky brings home toothless people and then just fixes their teeth. I don't understand. She's finding all these toothless men. <laughs> Getting their teeth fixed. She's doing the dentist. Oh, God. Vicky needs a hobby. <laughs> if any of this is true, Vicky does need a hobby. Vicky really likes to pretend she lives in a Mexican soap opera. All these okay. secret lives and accusations and, and giving people information. I'm putting KGB a call into stuff. Rick to explain this. Men's health. He's awesome. He is. He's like the. Isn't he awesome? He's like undercover awesome because he's never on screen, but when he is, he's just a voice of reason. Lydia's husband, mm-hmm. Doug. He's a voice of reason. Gretchen has the most Barbie hair on the planet, does she not? Mm-hmm. When you go from Vicky, who like doesn't looks like know she- the meaning of the word comb, <laughs> and then Gretchen. Whose hair is in like, a constant state of like being sprayed and her hair doesn't move. Her. It just doesn't move ever. Oh, Gretchen's armed with this information now. This is so not going to be good for bode well for Vicky. I mean, she is a party for your second mayor, like second bachelor a bachelorette party. party. Cause she's no. You know what we did is we always had divorce parties. Oh, we we're so okay. excited that they got divorced from the asshole with her <laughs> divorce party. Yeah, right. Probably going this to be like thirteen, Vicky. Don't lie. Heather's like, we're going to go home, and Heather's we're like, going to go night-night. Heather's it's, such a wet blanket. Gosh. Let's see, you flew from L.A. to Puerto Vallarta. What is that, a two-hour flight? Oh, I'm exhausted. It's really, it's not that far from Orange County to Puerto Vallarta. I don't see, like, you can't Why be, you like, be tired. tired. You're right, Vicky. You hit it on the head, Vic. <laughs> this is not a place they have gone to, like, a party. taco truck or something then head to the club? She's <laughs> trying here. She's trying. Come on. She's trying so hard. She's trying so hard. Oh, God. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. This one. 
Tamara, best line of the night. What's next? A yeast infection? Vicky must have made some producer or editor so mad because she just looks wrecked. So bad. They've gotten the every bad angle, every bad hair day, stumbling drunk all season. She made somebody at Bravo really angry. You said it, Lydia. The yeah. night's been really boring. The night's been boring. This season has been, been boring. boring.